Hi, I'm Matt. Welcome to eSpares. If you find that your washing machine isn't draining water properly, it could be that the drain pump has failed. Now in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use a multimeter to test your drain pump. For this video, I'm using a Hoover washing machine, but the process should be very similar for all makes and models. Let's get started. For this fix, you will need a T15 Torx screwdriver, a drain hose cleaning device or something similar, and of course, a multimeter. Now, safety first, always unplug an appliance before carrying out any work. Not everyone is familiar with multimeters, so let's quickly take a look at how they work. Multimeters are test tools designed to measure two or more electrical values for voltage, measured in volts, current, measured in amps, or resistance, measured in ohms. When testing parts in an appliance, you can use the multimeter to check for these measurements and determine whether or not a part is working properly. If the reading is above or below the required amount, or if there is no reading at all, it means the part is faulty and will need to be replaced. For this process, you'll also need to turn off the mains water supply. Also, if the water supply hose to your machine is not long enough for you to pull the machine out and work on it, you'll need to disconnect the supply hose from your washing machine. Do make sure to put a towel down to catch any excess water. Now let's begin. To access the drain pump, you first need to remove the washing machine's filter. Now place a towel down in front of the filter at the bottom of the appliance, unscrew the filter, then remove and empty it. Before you do that, check if your machine has one of these discharge hoses, which you can open up and use to remove any excess water inside the machine. Do make sure you've got a small container to catch any water that may come out of the discharge hose before then closing it up and taking the filter out. It's a good idea to check the filter and also the impeller inside for any damage or blockages and do make sure that the filter is clean before putting it back in. Now use a screwdriver or pencil that you don't want to use anymore to check that the impeller can spin freely. Next, if your machine isn't draining properly, you can use a drain hose unblocking tool or something similar to check for any blockages inside the drain hose. Now, once you've done these checks, uh, it's a good idea to plug your machine back in and run a cycle to ensure that your machine is once again draining correctly. If it is, it means that the problem was either in the filter, the impeller, or the drain hose. However, if your machine is still not draining water correctly, you will have to carry on with the rest of this process. Next, you'll want to put the machine onto its left-hand side when facing the front and remove the bottom cover, if your machine has one. And now you should be able to see the drain pump. So start by removing the electrical connection. And now using our multimeter, we can test the drain pump. You can now test the drain pump with your multimeter. So set the multimeter to two kilo ohms, then place the two prongs into the electrical socket where the cable was connected. The multimeter should read between 160 to 260 ohms with about 5% leeway. This means the lowest possible acceptable reading should be 152 ohms. If the multimeter reads lower than this, it means the drain pump is faulty and it needs replacing. To remove your faulty drain pump, just undo the three screws that hold it in place using your T15 Torx screwdriver. With all screws removed, simply pull 
the drain pump off. Now that you've removed the old drain pump from your washing machine, you're going to need to purchase a new one. Now we've linked in the description below to all drain pumps for washing machines. Now to find the correct one for your appliance, you're going to need your make and model number. If you're unsure where to find this, check out our video here. Once you've got your new drain pump, pop it into place and then fit your screws. Once all the screws are in place, refit the electrical connection. Replace the plastic or metal bottom cover of your machine. Pop your filter back in. Before putting the machine upright again. So there we go, how to use a multimeter to test a drain pump in a washing machine. Now that your machine is back up and running again, it's a great idea to give it a good clean. After all, water flooding inside your machine can quickly cause bad odors and lime scale. Check out our video here on how to clean a smelly washing machine to find out more. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more how-to videos, repair guides, and brilliant cleaning and maintenance tips. Thanks for watching.